Welcome to beautiful St. Lucia. Today I will be giving you a property tour and I will share my pros and cons on this property. So let's go. Are you excited for it? Stay tuned to the end of this video for a little sit down as I talk more about the property. I'm going to showcase the property, but then I'll address my pros and cons. So let's go. Welcome to Coconut Bay Resort and Spa in St. Lucia. And this is the entrance way going into the lobby area this is where you're going to you know come in when you visit and check in check in is right in front you you're greeted when you come in with a welcome drink i didn't get that shot when i came in but right here is the lobby area receptionist you'll check in right there where hubby is hi so um, you would want to make a reservation when you're on the property and when you make reservation you'll come right here right off the lobby area and this is where you're gonna find all dinner reservations you'll find it here and um, you know if you want to book tours you'll book it right in the lobby area guest service is right here um, they have a bar right here a lot of seating so you can um, you know enjoy some cocktails in the evening they have entertainment right at the front they'll set it up so a lot happens in the lobby area right off the lobby area you'll find the main buffet i'll just take you over there so you can see of course they have a coffee bar here and um, for my coffee lovers but right there is the um main buffet where you'll have lunch breakfast lunch and dinner this is the main buffet you can have breakfast lunch and dinner they just had breakfast but this is it upstairs we're going upstairs but look at this so beautiful the caribbean sea on the wall love it so two of the specialty restaurants is upstairs we had dinner at both and it was simply delicious. I would highly recommend make dinner reservations at the specialty restaurant. This is their um, on-site boutique where you can get, you know, little gifts and stuff like that. Is the adult section where you can um, find the, in the evening they will do um, karaoke, they'll have drinks. And stuff like that they'll turn it into a nightclub this is two of the specialty restaurant this is silk an Asian fusion restaurant food is like on point here I don't know if they're open I doubt whether they're open yep it's more of an evening thing and this they have calabash it's a, um, a caribbean restaurant the food here was very very delicious as you can see a lot of seating areas you can come and chill here during the day the view from here is spectacular so you can go out on the veranda and um, enjoy the view you know people are having breakfast there i don't want to interrupt them and that's Mr. Jingri, a wine and walk in Guyanese term. <laughs> He's taking you for the view. You know, there are pool tables up here. There are darts, you know, very nice setting. Now out here is so relaxing. So much beautiful fresh air. And you have a spectacular view. A view to die for. Look at that. Look at the ocean, look at the mountain. This is one of the many pools on the property. Right there is the towel hut. You'll get your towel there. And this is a salt water pool. Over here, it's the another specialty restaurant. It's the Italian restaurant. So of course you have to make reservation. And I'll take you guys down there so you can see more. But take a minute and soak up the view it's just breathtaking it's spectacular you can come out and sit over there there are chairs there to sit and just enjoy it let me enjoy this view 
Hello, don't give me a back. I was enjoying my view. <laughs> Sun is hot, but the wind is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. The beauty of nature, the beauty of life. Like I just can stay here all day and enjoy the breeze and the warmth of the sunshine. You're taking plenty vitamin D here, okay? You're not run out of vitamin D, but look at that. Look at the ocean. That's the Atlantic Ocean. We're in the Caribbean, but this side is the Atlantic part. The other side is the Caribbean Sea. Look at the mountains. St. Lucia is famous for their mountains. Let's carry on. In the lobby area, you can get cappuccino, all your fancy drinks, your lattes, iced coffee, everything right here. Okay. So right off the lobby, on the right side, you'll find the adults only section. Keep your picnic away. I'm just kidding. Nice a gazebo with a fire pit. You can come and chill and hang out. The breeze is amazing. It's refreshing actually. And this is the adults section. Me adults, so me can go. Big people section. Big people section. So as you can see, the property sits back from the ocean. You do have ocean view. But you know, it's kind of obstructed with um, the coconut trees and you know, stuff like that. But I, I'm, I'm thinking the reason for this property that it's so back in is because of hurricane season. And all the coconut trees help. Yeah, the coconut trees help with the wind and stuff like that. Harmony, as you can see, it says Harmony, Coconut Bay, Adults Only Oasis, okay? They have their pool over here too. This is a bar right up front and they have their lounge chair facing the ocean. You know, beautiful grounds as you can see. It's well kept and it's very, very neat and clean. That's what I love. No, me good. Look at that Help view. Yourself. Yeah, go behind and be the bartender. It's a smaller pool here for the adults, but look at that view. Huh? Oh, they do. Oh. But the view, man, the view is to die for. Look at that. Look at that. So there is a second pool over there. And I'm not gonna take you guys over there. The time I done walk, came make a sweat out all the food when we eat. But the view, wow. And the wind, and they have a gazebo here, nice for picture. I'm thinking they use this for wedding and stuff like that. They do have a wedding um, venue here. They have a coordinator on site that will plan everything for you. So. If you're planning a wedding, you'll come, bam, right there, and they'll do everything. You can get your, you know, your dream beach wedding. Whoa. I you hear that wind? Take a minute and suck up the view. Suck up the view, the sunshine, the wind, you know. And they do clean the beach all like two time a day or three time a day with a tractor pick up the seaweed but you know seaweed is part of nature you cannot get rid of the seaweed will you marry me wow. drop on the ground and propose after you done fill up your belly come for a morning walk along the beach listen to the wave and enjoy the sunshine The resort was named after all the coconut trees. Like there is so many coconut trees on this property. Right here, you'll find the hot tub. And look, an overview of part of the property. 
Don't be afraid to climb the coconut tree. Too. You will try getting people killed here. Trevor did climb the coconut tree and grab us coconut. But throughout the day, you can find um, coconut water. You know, early in the morning in the, the main buffet, they have coconut water you can grab. Or um, in the evening, check the bars. They pick all the coconut from the tree and they serve it to the guests, which is nice. Or if you're adventurous like Mr. Jingri here, yes, go ahead and climb the coconut tree, which he did. I have it on Facebook Live, so anyone want to see that, check my page out, Cooking with Ash, and you'll see that. Here is another specialty restaurant attached. I believe it's part of the Italian. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. But you can... Um, you know sit and have beach view the ocean view enjoy the ocean for dinner let's go this way this is a, oh look hi <laughs> this is the italian restaurant um over here you, there's another bar there you can hang out here throughout the day with the kids there is pool table tennis table activities going on here during the day so be sure to check it out um there's lots to do on this resort especially if you have kids this is like a snack bar throughout the day it's stock with stuff for the kids you get pizza hot dog popcorn nachos cheese soda this is a snack bar it's called flip flop you can order sandwiches and stuff like that here so be sure to check it out atiana love the chicken nugget here they post the menu but this is the late night menu you can get pizza cheeseburgers and um, chicken wings and stuff like that right here um, this is the swim up bar right here swim up you can grab your stuff if you're in the pool you don't have to come out to the pool they have areas where you can sit lots of um, huts and stuff like that um, to hang out and chill out Lots of beach chair throughout the property. This is another pool, Atiana's favorite pool. Usually they have waterfall, but it's early in the morning. So, um, you know, half of the things not even start working as yet. Um, but as you can see, lots of hammocks on the property. You just sit here and you enjoy the breeze and you relax. Go take one there, man. Go show them people how to relax. Whole day you and you relax. Come and rock you. Rock a boy baby on a treetop. When the wind comes, you can heist you and lick you down. <laughs> oh, look at Trevor being a big baby. Get up. Come do some work. I'll come back for you. Continuing on, as you can see, this is the other part of the property um, where room's at. You know, again you get some sort of an ocean view, but it's obstructed. Over there, they do entertainment and they usually do some nights, they'll have like um, barbecue out here. They'll do barbecue and set up tables and stuff like that, um, which is nice because then you enjoy the ocean breeze for dinner. And you guys have to check this out. This is the jerk hut, that's correct. They have their own personal jerk hut. More hammocks on the property. Over there going down, it's the beach area. You know, um, you can chill out there during the day. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys there. I'll put in clips of it in the video so you can see what it looks like. But make sure to check out the jerk hut. It's up in the tree. Very cute and adorable. They serve here jerk chicken, peas and rice, fried plantains, jerk pork, escovish fish, hope I say that right, or escovosh, escovish. When I know I'm a try see, but that's it. It opens at 11, I think, and it closes at five. So make sure you check it out for some delicious finger licking, delicious finger licking jerk chicken. Jerk. Yeah, it's very, very flavorful. So this is the lazy river. It go wrong, then wrong, then wrong, then wrong, endless wrong, then wrong. Um, the kids are going to love it. They're not going to want to come out, out of it. Over there is the slide. It's a big slide. Atiana lives on that. She's in pool, slide, lazy river. 
all day. There are games throughout the day, activities for the kids. So they're never bored. Slide is not open as yet. I believe it open at 10 o'clock. But look at that. Look at that. Huge. Big, big and huge. They have two end clothes and one open. Yep. And we stayed right at the end. They gave us the end of the property. Mivex, I'll talk more about that. <laughs> this is another pool. Let's go over to the kids area. See, that's a slide. And the lazy river continues, baby. So right here is the kids club. You can check your kids them in. You can find out the details. I didn't find out the details because me kid is a big kid now. I doubt whether she go and go get check in there. But look how quiet and peaceful this property is. Very, very relaxing. If you're looking for that relaxing vibes. The entertainment in the evening is really, really great. You'll, you're gonna enjoy it. Well, some nights. This is the kids club area. You know, they have a lot of activities for the kids to do. And they make it very fun and colorful. This is the property itself. You know, it's very early. They're cleaning up and preparing for the day for the kids then. There is a lots and lots of activities for them to do throughout the day. All this would be on, all the sprinklers, the slides and stuff like that. They will be on um, the bucket. You know, nice area for the kids. And look who's here. Look who's here. Our donkey friends. So they're very friendly, as you can see. They roam throughout the property and, you know, and stuff like that. I guess you can go and pet them. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to pet them or anything of the sort, but there is a lot of play area for the kids then. Good morning. Good morning. Can I pet you? Hi, can I pet you? Do you bite? Do you kick? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're brave. Come. Good morning. I don't have anything to give to you. Do we have names? Good morning. Oh, I see the air's up. Mm -mm. I see the air's up. You're in protective mode, so that means stay back. So last night the rain and um, they're still a little wet. They own Trevor, you want to jump on? <laughs> Sorry. Go Next ahead. Time. Go ahead, jump on. Would you allow Trevor to ride one? Are you? Are you nice and fat and rosy though? This is the view from our balcony here, as you can see. It sits back from the ocean. All the rooms, you know, sit back but um you can see the ocean there you can see some pools you know you can see stuff but this is my problem here we're going to talk more about why i'm kind of a little iffy and upset about this whole aspect of it so i'll get into that let's go ahead and talk about it room tour this is our room as you enter bathroom hi <laughs> so you get a shower here nice vanity toilets back it up whoop, whoop, whoop. nicely decorated pretty i love the flowers welcome to coconut bay nice 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 you're home away from home closet spacious closet ironing board of course a safe double closet i love it lots of storage nice size mirror <laughs> of course a nice makeup vanity i love that tv 
a nice sitting area. So comfy. A coffee bar. Coffee bar at the top, and of course, I'm sure there is a mini fridge in here. Lots of storage, and boom, you go out there. That's your view, balcony. So relaxing. That's the property. Look at that. The ocean is over there. Tomorrow, you'll see probably see a better view of it. But, um, pools and stuff like that. So we're on our way to the animal sanctuary right here on the property. The, the rooms are right there and you come down and it's a nice walk over lined with the beautiful coconut trees. I'll see some um, donkey and scratch them batty and stuff for them. You on Barbie's girl? Yes, I mean, it's right donkey, you know, know that? Uh, well, then, then get one song about that, right? Yeah, Barbie's girl. Not Barbie's girl. Ride, ride the donkey, ride. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, been able. Over there is the kids' play area. So, you know, they have a lot of things on the property for kids to entertain kids that kids would enjoy. So there are ducks right in front of the animal sanctuary. It's an animal sanctuary, but duck curry. Well, that's still okay. Ayo, make me tell you. Oh, them poor animal. Oh, look, it's a pigeon. So cute. You drink though. They have like a big soccer field here. You can bring the kids and play soccer. Over there is a tennis court. Like they have a lot of things for the kids to do. Believe me, they're not gonna be bored. These are the ducks that we have in Guyana, the Muscovy duck, right? Look, Trevor, I have them poor duck. Don't worry, it's a sanctuary. Oh, ducky, 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 ducky. Come, 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 come. This is the entrance. Oh my gosh, there's a rabbit, there's a rabbit. You can smell. Yeah, Where? Oh, look at that bunny under there. Uh, are you hiding? Yeah. They love them all. Then get a goat. I see a lot more bunny in here. More bunnies. Then them get them nice. Mm -hmm. Then get some chicken in there with them. Yeah, so nice. Oh, come, 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 come. Hi. You play with a bunny? Yeah, bunny. So cute. Oh, bunny. Let's go see what else they have inside. I got some chicken. So they got puppies. Hi. There's duck poop there, Ati. Watch before you step on it, and then you're gonna yeah, you get a step. panic attack. What? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> There's a baby chicken there. When you talk about vibes and serenity, so, so, so relaxing. Imagine. I was in here just now, rocking in the hammock, enjoying the water, the waves. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful St. Lucia. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, 
here is my overall summary of the property. So let's go. I had to write stuff down. So let's start with the pro, right? We always got to start with the pro and then we're going to dive into the cons, right? So the food, the food in general is great. It's delicious. It's not lacking in flavor. You're going to enjoy every single bite. Do check out the jerk chicken hot. Mm. I eat jerk chicken every day that I was here. Also, do make reservations for the specialty restaurant. If you don't, you're going to miss out. You can always double dip. Make your reservations for the specialty um, restaurants early and then go ahead and hit the buffet up later, right? And sometimes I don't care for some of the things that I'm in the buffet for dinner. So this is why I'm saying go ahead and hit the specialty restaurants up friendly staff let's talk about the staff the staff throughout the property is very welcoming very friendly everybody have a pleasant smile looks like they want to be here they want to work eager to help you with anything that you need so thumbs up for the staff had an amazing experience with them and um, we could work on the um receptionist area you know um the check-in area they could be a little bit more friendlier in my opinion um, entertainment beautiful we enjoy it especially the reggae night i wish we had more of that um, i'm also going to talk about it dive deep dive deeper in it on the cons part of it but overall the entertainment was good you know um you can't be the location you know it's like five minutes away from the airport how can you go wrong five minutes away from the airport and you're here so you know when you come from a long flight you just want to get to the you know hotel that you're staying and start enjoy your vacation and um, they have other hotels at the other at the other end of the island it's like a probably an hour and a half drive um of course it's very expensive to get over there i did f find out from two three people to take me to the local market over it's in the thong thong area um that the quote i got was like 300 us just to get there and honestly i didn't want to spend that kind of money just to go to the market so this is why i didn't venture out much um you know explore too many places because um, i did go into a few places but i didn't do videos on it because i feel like when sometimes i go all out and do these videos and they're not being watched so you know um i'm just cutting back i'm just doing the review on the hotel and stuff like that in case anyone wants to visit um so yeah to go to tongue it's very pricey i was told by a local that you can take the bus the bus is like five us dollar but you know that's like your whole day is going to be taken up because you got to stop here there everywhere you know so if you want to do that feel free to venture out and explore and enjoy the island um the volcano area is nice the sulfur bath is nice from what i heard from the locals i didn't do that um, there are a few locations that you can go and you know experience the the beauty of the island the high points and stuff like that um i feel like um i had a great view and experience here so i didn't check those out but do explore okay let's go into the cons i don't know um i'll get trevor to add anything if you want to add anything into this but um let's talk about the rooms i was very disappointed with the room as you all know whenever i go on my vacation um you know i stay at really good properties we did do a lot of research on this property it did had a ton of great reviews but for me um you know and i met a few other guests that were very disappointed with the room they're very old and dated y'all know i'm very honest with my opinion you know very i was very shocked how old and dated it is like they need to do renovation seriously you need to fix these rooms up replace the faucet the shower head they're very old and i feel like i was in the 19th century like that's that's how old it is you know and the bathroom is so small the shower is so tight oh god it's so tight like i was scared to shower in there like i was gonna touch the wall you know and so imagine i am like a five two i'm a little person i'm you know i'm not like fat fat or whatever and the bathroom was so tight to shower not to mention the shower head was so old i don't know where where which century that came from come on guys we're paying a lot of money to stay here i would expect the rooms to be you know on par up to date um i was very taken back by it very shocked the faucet even in the the shower 
the the regulator hot and cold was missing so you don't know which side is hot which side is cold that is very bad because if you have a little kid going there they could get serious they could burn seriously by not knowing you know everyone knows you know red is hot blue is cold so you know for that take like that just makes me very upset um so that's one thing if you're going to come here look forward for that small bathroom very dated and old and it needs like a deep clean a very bad deep clean the tiles like i am not blaming room service for this but because it's so old and dated i don't think any sort of cleaning would help it that much you know so that's one thing i did not like and i'm very honest with this review i do not want anyone to come and have a bad experience and said oh ash said there was a the property in general is very beautiful very clean throughout but the rooms man mm -mm. um so um like i mentioned deep clean as you can see if i turn this camera here you're gonna see some things i'm talking about like you know um i i, I didn't want to show it like what it is in the video but believe me when i say it needed a deep clean it needed a deep clean the sofas there were stains on them at least try to you know scrub the stains out and you know pay more attention there were the room was very dusty i came here anytime i go to a resort i don't care how um high end the resort is i always sanitize everything wipe everything down so i was here pretty much cleaning the room for me you know i clean it to my standards i was sanitizing cleaning out dusting and all that those are things guests shouldn't be coming to the resort and do this is the first resort i came to and the room was like this i always enjoy my shower at the resort i couldn't wait to get out of that bathroom as quick as possible right yes yeah, so rooms y'all need y'all need to update this these rooms you know that the different part of the property is very updated but these rooms need an overhaul i cannot stress enough on that and i did went to the receptionist and speak to them about moving from the room that i was in um i did address the the you know the, the 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 rooms not being cleaned enough um she said she was gonna put there was no available rooms they were all booked out but she's gonna put me on tomorrow morning they'll call me never receive a call never heard back from them she kind of had an attitude when i talk about it too you know um guests should always be happy i spend a lot of money to come here okay it wasn't free and um, another thing my views my view from my room um we paid for premium ocean view far from it i show you guys my view there is no premium ocean view all the rooms have some sort of ocean view but i feel like more towards the the front of the hotel you're gonna get a better view i was stuck all the way to the back my room number is 331 it was like the second to last room um no premium ocean view it was obstructed again i felt like i waste money there and um, i did address that with them too when i complained about the room nothing was done you know that is something that pissed me off as you guys all know when i go on my vacation i love a ocean front room or if i pay for a premium ocean view at least i would have a good view you know of the ocean it don't have to be ocean front because clearly the resort do not offer ocean front rooms but um ocean view and premium ocean view it's two different thing i have an ocean view i do not have a premium ocean view and i've traveled enough to know the difference so don't come here and tell me otherwise okay or the hotel would spin it otherwise um entertainment as i as i mentioned some part of it was really good um like i mentioned i enjoy Reganite. it was very very nice but i feel like because you um have people from all over the world coming here they only catered in entertainment mostly for like you know european crowds canadians americans i am an american but i was born and raised in guyana and at least i want you know some nice soca music and stuff like that i was here for six days i didn't get that i you know i get more of a, a american european vibes with the music and stuff like that so it was a hit or miss with the entertainment also you can um bringing different kinds of entertainment like shows and stuff like that um last night was retro night um it kind of boring the only night i enjoyed was the reggae night honestly the vibe was lit and i really enjoy it um 
otherwise to that it's mostly singing karaoke stuff like that you know yeah not not my kind of thing but you know maybe other people enjoy it but maybe how about you guys venture out into some chutney singers and stuff like that um, most of these resorts that we go to there is no um inclusion of like you know the caribbean people like put your your spin to it we're coming to your island for your sort of thing your sort of entertainment put your spin to it stop catering so much for the foreigners in my opinion breakfast um every day was pretty much very similar they do have a creole section um i wish they had more on the creole section it was just like a few things again that's another thing i'm complaining about i want more of your local food i am so fed up of the american european canadian breakfast same thing omelets hash brown like mm -mm. pancake waffle it was very repetitive i would love to see more of the local fruits instead of all the fruits that we get in the u.s and stuff like that um but i mean those are all the cons for me you guys can take it from there um I, would i come back to this hotel definitely i would come back but um i would think twice about the rooms because the the rooms did did uh, me out right so i mean the beds are clean and clean and stuff like that but the mirror is very dusty you can see um toothpaste mark on it from scrubbing even the faucets they're very old and um you know maybe i'll show you guys some of the things i'm talking about so you don't say oh you know she's lying um but yeah so i'll see if trevor have anything to add to this and um i'll wrap this up but let me take you guys quickly so you can see what i'm talking about right here where i'm sitting look at the outlet look at that and this is after me scrubbing it down with lysol and stuff okay yep mirror baby look at that there are marks in the mirror all over you can't see it on the camera but these are some of the things i'm talking about all these stuff are very old and very dated okay my sofa before i sit on this i spread towel because i don't know like these are all things they could get clean they could clean it out they could scrub it out you know this is what i'm talking about um you know yeah Oh, this is the bathtub the bath you know the shower look how little this is it's so tiny like very very little very very little the shower head look at this thing look at this thing it's so old and dated look at this no regulator of hot water cold water look how old dirty it is you know mm. this makes me very upset let's come over here the mirrors like very dirty look at this faucet and even if i shine this faucet and show you it's still very old and dated so see that even if you try to clean it these are some of the things these things need to be replaced they're too old look look at this they could have cleaned that out they could have bleached that out this is what i'm talking about the tiles you know look how dirty it is like come on do a deep clean this bathroom well you know this we used it but look how little it is very very tiny for a hotel standard and it's it's not up to my standard no never so these are some of the things i'm talking about very dated these are the bed heads look at that very dusty and i cleaned it okay i know dust gather but these are things that should be wiped down every time you clean a room like that's that's what i'm talking about